How many friends have you hooked up with? Well, how many have you hooked up with? Ooh. Friends as in have never ne- never escalated into a relationship. Yes. One. Cool. Who is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. It is Maddie Westbrook, and welcome back to Closet Talk. Today, we have Amy Ordman on the show. She is a content creator and the founder of Butch Night. She is one of the first people who started posting on YouTube about dating as a lesbian, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to bring back a game, Guessing Dating App Bios, where we read different bios and guess if it was written by a straight man or a queer woman. So everyone, please welcome to the show, Amy Ordman. Hi. Hey. What's up? How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm good. We're back into it today. You should come to Fudge. I'm scared of everyone. What do you mean? But I feel like now, actually, I've heard of this so much that like the majority of guests that I've had on, Mm -hmm. we've talked about Fudge because Amanda, your ambassador over here. Are you serious? Mal. Who? Mal. Yeah. uh, Tringsby. Yeah. Wait, what did they say? Tachi. That they go. And they love it. Love it. Because this, <laughs> and they're I the mean, best time yeah. ever. Yes. Because I've never heard of anything else. Because you hear of a lot of like gay bars. Right. But they're all gay men. Right. Or, which is an even more terrifying experience, I'll go to these gay bars and they'll think I'm a small man. Sure. And so I get like these very drunk older men. I'm saying this again. <laughs> this has happened twice. Where they'll come up and be like, what's up, baby boy? And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> like i try to be like so like i'm right. not what you think i am sure like, you'd be so 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 shocked well you're invited please Thank come you. through Thank you. i'll try my best yeah yeah i feel more inclined to go especially because like i have to like know at least one person well i'll be there where i'm going so. yes i know you now yeah yeah and you're so like inviting and friendly that's so lovely Aww. yeah yay okay exactly i'm excited fine. To get into this episode, because I feel like your vibe is definitely giving dating advice, unpacking queer relationships. Right. I'm so good at dating. You're so Famously. <laughs> that's like what I'm really good at. <laughs> Me too. No, yeah. I'm kidding. We have a small cauldron in front of us. I'm making it sound fancy. It's just a bowl. Filled with a bunch of dating app bios. And we actually played this game with a previous guest. And it was by far one of my favorite games on the show. And in that cauldron there are little index cards folded up and it has a bio on it like a dating app bio is this on hinge or what app are we talking Mostly Bumble, Tinder vibes. and we have to guess whether or not the bio was written by a straight man or a queer woman right i'm excited i think you should do the first one okay not gonna lie looking for my wife but <laughs> just someone pretty to look at would be nice too let me know if you need dat with a christmas tree and a d dat Dad, I can't. It's tough because straight men are terrible. Sorry. (laughs) Sorry to the bros here. (laughs) But queer women, like lesbians can be bad, you know? That's what I recently, like, not found out, but my, uh, I had had someone on and they were like, I've just had such horrible experiences with queer women. And I'm like, really? Right. Like, tell me about them. Because I feel like I haven't had that many. Bad experiences with queer women? I had one really bad one and that was it. Are they mean? Not mean. Maybe like a little cringe at times. But who hasn't been cringe? I've been cringe. I think the main thing, too, about a lot of queer people is that we have to, like, re-go through puberty in a way. Sure. We have to relearn. Once we come out or realize that we're queer, we have to relearn how to flirt, how to to express ourselves. So there's a very large portion of our lives, probably in our 20s, that we spend experimenting with who we are and how we express ourselves. Yeah. The majority of straight people actually found out when they were, like, 15, 16. 100%. 100%. And so I understand the cringy part. Right. Uh, so I'm supposed to say like what I think this is. I, I really I think that was a guy just because or someone pretty just to look at. I think that this is a queer woman. This is a straight man. A straight man. Like the shit I've seen on Hinge. Yeah. It's just beyond. Like it just takes Isn't my breath away. In a bad way? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Usually that's a very endearing phrase. I've never had Hinge. Isn't that the one where you're like looking for a relationship? I think the Hinge is the best one. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I haven't used Tinder in like a decade. I downloaded Bumble one time, but then I didn't feel like making a whole other thing. So I just deleted it. (laughs) Right. I was like, I don't want to do this. After a great first date. We'll go back to my place for drinks and mediocre missionary sex. You call me nine days later and tell me you're pregnant. 
Our first child, Arthur, makes it through high school getting bullied. He graduates on top of his class and goes on to Stanford. Worth it. Well, this has to be a guy. I feel like that's the trick. And I feel like <gasps> it's a queer woman. Okay. I feel like someone's trying to trick us. Right. <laughs> Plus, I feel like I don't know how many straight people would name their son Arthur. Nowadays, it's all like Maximilius. My cat's name is Max. I love that. I love meeting animals and then giving them longer names. This is a dude. I, I disagree. Mm. Okay, it is a straight man. I'm flopping. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Elephant in the room. These are so long. Oh my gosh. I'm going to make a paper airplane. This one was so big. Okay. I got an apartment all to myself, a brand new elf bar, red wine, a 75 inch TV and smell fantastic. Okay. I like this person. <laughs> I also have a Costco membership. So ladies, please one at a time. I saw something I sh maybe we shouldn't have seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Well, women are always super into smelling nice. Right? I can't say anything because I know the truth. Well, I mean, theoretically. I want to date this person. Oh, so it's a woman. Well, well, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, okay, hear me out. Based off the first portion, I would say it's a woman because, well, also, I don't know a lot about vapes. And I feel like some vapes are more specifically gay than others. Oh, uh, I don't know a lot about vapes either. I just completely made that up. It's a woman. It's a straight man. I just made a paper airplane with zero knowledge. Are these all going to be men? Okay. That's good. Okay, see if it flies. I mostly just want to hang out with it like a little friend. Okay. Wanted for first degree murder? Oh, on dance floors across America. <laughs> I have a pet tarantula. He's dyslexic. And his name is Toby. This is funny. Yeah, this is cute. That's a queer woman. I love that. I feel like only women really give their pets like full-fledged personalities. Right. That's so true. Yeah. But I don't want to get it wrong. That's okay. <laughs> I feel like when I first played this game, I was constantly wrong. I want to be right, though. Um, that was really embarrassing. That was so bad. Cut that out, please. <laughs> um, okay, what if I just say that it's a man? Okay, based off of... Based off of, because you said it's a woman, I say it's a man. You just want to disagree? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I want one person to be right, one person to be wrong. Oh my gosh, you're a people pleaser. It's okay, me too. Literally, so <laughs> I, I too. wouldn't even say that. I feel like a lot of people are very displeased with me. <laughs> What? <laughs> but do girls have pet tarantulas? Yeah, I feel like that's like a gay woman thing to have. Like, I mean, I have a snake named David. You have a snake? Yeah. Oh my God, scary. No, he's a cutie patootie. He's never bit anyone. That's cool. I'm so proud of him. I'm not going to come over to your place <laughs> anytime okay. soon. <laughs> he, he's not like okay, out and about. You're not going to open this door and be like, David, he's, he's in his little terrarium. What did I say this was? A man? This is a man. I'll go with a woman. This is a queer woman. Amanda, please. <laughs> you're embarrassing me. That's okay. Show me your Sunny Angel collection so I know it's real. Also been spending too much time playing Spider-Man 2. I love Sunny Angels. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. I just want... Okay. So, unfortunately, mine is currently decapitated. This is what they are. They're little, like, collectibles. This is called the Hipper of the Hipper series. So this is a queer woman, then? It has to be. Okay. It has to be. Okay, queer woman. For sure. It is a queer woman. Yes! Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. If I hit you with a what you doing, you better not hit me with a hey. It better be like hi with a bunch of eyes or hey with a bunch of whys. That was cute. That's my biggest thing. If I ask you what you're up to and you're just like, oh, nothing, you no longer matter to me. It's a bit dramatic. But like, I feel it's also like I have only like four people that I text. Sure. And all of them are at the level of closeness that you should be able to tell me about your day right but what if you don't like being on your phone that much and what if you're or you're watching a show and you're not really thinking about what you're texting and so you're kind of dry maybe but you don't mean to be dry mm -hmm. and that's just fine you know if you were like texting a girl and you were like hey what are you doing and mm -hmm. she was like nothing what would you say that's different than this because nothing and then not asking what about you, that's rude. But I feel like I'm not going to criticize if someone replies, hey, versus 
high with a bunch of eyes, you know? So what do you think is better? I well, feel like there's not much of a difference. Yeah, yeah, that's rude. I would say, hey, I'm doing so and so, right? But I feel like high isn't a good response to what are you doing either? This is a non-binary person. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What is yours? I don't understand. Um, yeah, that's probably a queer girl. Mm. I feel like it's a guy. This is a straight man. Yeah. Because this is such a confusing... I, feel I don't like know people. I as a probably woman, I wouldn't write this because I would need to be too over-analyzing of it. I'm so upset. Oh, oh, this is cryptic. Seeing what's out there against my better judgment. Hit me up if you want to perform the ritual of the vibe check laughs in parentheses <laughs> also is it parentheses or parentheses um i don't know but i don't think i like that person <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it, either way i'm gonna be wrong so no you <laughs> guess because i will definitely agree with you okay what do i think what do i think <laughs> you're gra you're gathering your brain cells you're like let's do this <laughs> yeah, yeah come on come on come on i think that this is a man so i'm gonna say queer woman i think you should stick with your gut because i also think it's a man okay man it is a straight man <sighs> two points for gryffindor Ugh. let's go Ugh. Ugh. okay what's up i like to watch grass grow and i'm super hyped to watch the debates looking for whatever as long as you're nice pardon me what's up i like what's to up? watch grass grow Looking forward to the debates. So I don't, I don't know. It's a dude. No one's hyped to watch debates unless you're a dude. Well, I don't know. I'd be like, I'm very interested in seeing what happens in this electoral war. Sure. Men just throw out the craziest thing. Um, I'm gonna say it's a woman. <clears throat> okay. But also like the part where it's like, I like to watch grass grow. Yeah, I don't get that. This is a straight man. Yeah. Horrible at texting back, so don't think I ghosted you. Unless I actually did, then it's for good reason. Yikes face. I love your facial expressions. They're like so telling of what you think of the person. Oh my god. Ugh. What if we did like, if we would go on a date with them or not? <laughs> that's like, yeah. I wouldn't like, go on a date with this person. No. Um, and I think it's- It's a man. Okay. Or it's a woman. That's the game. <laughs> what do you think? That's the game. <laughs> Um, I think it's probably, it's probably a woman. I don't know. How do you feel about ghosting, though? I believe it happens. Would sure. you do it? I've done it okay. because I'm human right. and I'm sorry. At what point do you think ghosting is okay or not okay? I think that ghosting is okay if, like, you only went on just a couple dates. Okay. Probably not okay if you're in a relationship to kind of, like, ghost right. your girlfriend. <laughs> Does that happen to you? Like, no, it hasn't. That was so specific. Well, I mean, like, it, I think, like, if it's serious, then don't ghost. But if it's not so serious, then ghost if you need to. What do you think about ghosting? <laughs> I think the same thing. <laughs> that was a queer woman. Yeah. 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 And we don't like you. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, hit me up if you want to go on a cool, amazing, fun adventure in the next, actually right now. Or I guess next week could work too. Can you guess what me and my catch were what my catch my cat were watching? This is a girl. Um, that's a dude. I feel like a woman would use better words than cool, amazing, and fun. Mm. And guys usually only have one cat. Women usually have two. Oh, like okay. guys usually have one cat that they're just like super attached to. Right. I still think it's a girl though. Okay, I think it's a dude. Mm. Okay, this is a queer woman. Wow. Yay! Wow. I feel like I, I equate women being able to write, like, better than that. Because I get constant queer women on my For You page that are just doing, like, slam poetry. This is cute. I like her. Go on to the next question. Why do I always pick the ones that are so long? I'm a person who is passionate about funding your lifestyle over anything else. <gasps> I want to hopefully find someone who can be my number one for a long time. My passions are history, film, anime, music, cooking, anthropology, and traveling. So like a sugar daddy? Yes, a sugar yeah, so passionate daddy. Passionate about funding your lifestyle over anything else. Yes, I would go on a date with this person. <laughs> <laughs> and you would pay for it. Um, so this is a dude. <laughs> it's a guy. So this is a for guy. For sure. This is a straight man. I think he was 44. Yep. And he's single. <laughs> <laughs> you're like i'm gonna keep this one <laughs> yeah 
Ooh, funny and evil, basically. Tired of fixing my situationships this time, I need to be fixed. <laughs> and I love classic literature. Oh. Did I write this? <laughs> um, this is a woman. Okay. And yes, I would go on a date with her. Do you relate? Yeah. Do you I feel bet like she's you, so hot. Do you feel like you fix a lot of your situationships? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, no. But I like funny and evil. I think that's really cute. You think it's so cute that someone's evil? Yeah. Like, yes. So cute. Okay. I, I would say it's a woman. This is a queer woman. Both and was she it. so hot? Um, you, know? you should have included pictures for her. <laughs> okay. A Nightmare of a Jazz Listener. That sounds like a great book. Like, I love hearing sentences and being like, book title. I love the beach. I dive into waves. I have every color of rolling paper your imagination can dream of. What's rolling paper? Never like mind. For cigarettes or something? <laughs> um, No, I wouldn't go on a date with this person. Why? Because, I don't know, they just don't sound like fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I actually, it's become like a thing. It's really hard for me to do life like things that I need to do for life that are productive while I'm listening to like music with words because then I just want to get up and I want to groove and I want to dance okay. and so lately I've just been like listening to jazz music like smooth jazz music Ooh. as background noise so that I actually get stuff done and I cleaned my kitchen this morning for listening to smooth jazz that's awesome yeah some of it does for sure sound like slow sex music and so I'm like what am I listening to like I don't want my roommate to come downstairs and be like why are you trying to set the mood for the soap right anyway I think this is a straight dude but I don't dive into the waves at the beach anymore. I got my shit rocked by a wave. You like, did? So it did I. so embarrassing. So did I. Like, yeah. really bad. What happened? Huge bruise <gasps> on my butt. <laughs> but. We can it's say but. It's crazy. Like, it was terrible. But I'll still dive into the waves. I won't. I'm scared. But I didn't know there were multiple colors. I don't think I'm paying enough attention to rolling paper. That means nothing to me. Okay. Dude. <laughs> it's a queer woman. <gasps> You know what? I should have taken the rolling paper colors as like a sign. Guys wouldn't be like, look at my pretty pink rolling paper. That's true. One of my high school students said I seem like someone who would have a soft clown tattoo and a pet bird. I have neither, but I'll take it. Okay. Murderer. <laughs> a soft clown tattoo. and Like a, a faded one? I don't know what that means. Soft clown? Uh, I think that's a dude. That's a woman. This is a queer woman. But I think, like, if you have a bird, I feel like you're kind of a cool person. No? Do I know anyone with a bird? I don't think I know anyone with a bird. They're so really don't... loud. And apparently they live forever and get super attached to you. Right. Like, you can never give them away or they'll no. start, like, that molting thing where, like, they die or something. Oh, my gosh. Well, you can't get a pet and then give it away, period. Right. Thumbs down if you've ever done that. Okay, last one. So I'll definitely get this one right. <laughs> you know how you said murderer? Mm -hmm. I found their brother. <laughs> I fired my boss and dropped out of college, so you may want to match with the safe lawyer slash doctor your mother approves of. I read that so wrong in the like the, fir in the first way in my head. I don't know what you're talking about right now, like, at all. How do you fire your boss? <laughs> <laughs> He's giving very, like, pit, like... Victim. <laughs> I was going to be, like, neck tattoos and, like... Oh, yeah. A rose on the back of his hand. Right. And now he, like, does, like, shitty music in his free time and, like, smokes a lot of weed. Yes. This is a dude. Yeah. This is a straight man. Mic drop. And no, I would not go on a date with no. him. No. <laughs> no. I probably should go find a lawyer or doctor instead of you. Is that mean? Maybe you took it, like, one step kind of too okay. far. I'm <laughs> you seem like a very unique human being. <laughs> I hope you find love. Victim. I forget that these people are real. I really hope none of these people are listening. Unless I said that they sound cool. Yeah. You did say that about a few people, so I feel like that's a good note. <gasps> you know Elle Mills? Yeah. I love Elle Mills. Start crying. Elle Mills is a genius. Elle Mills was like my coming out awakening. You wanted Elle Mills? <laughs> I don't think I wanted <laughs> Elle Mills. Like, Elle Mills was the only YouTuber I've ever watched. Okay. In my life. What the hell? No, hear Hello? me out. Hear Am me I out. nothing? At 15. I had, this is what would happen, okay? I'm sitting in my mom's classroom when I was 
15 years old she's a teacher mm -hmm. and youtube was unlocked on only one computer and i knew which computer so i log on to youtube and i click on like the most popular like i went to the charts or whatever and i clicked on the most popular oh. video at the time it was ella mills oh my god and i thought she was so funny yeah she's and everything so every week i tuned in and so i was th like a very devout watcher when she came out and when she like started openly talking about her sexuality yeah when she had a few breakdowns and like that i like watched all of that yeah and i still like check up on her like channel every once in a while to like see what she's up to but she's like the first ever yeah she's a genius i love Elle mills and then who are you watching um no i don't really watch things. have you seen any of my videos i've stalked you your instagram me at all yeah, I do. My Instagram? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why is Instagram a bad thing? Who cares about Instagram? Uh, Most I don't even post on Instagram. Yeah, I know. I made a second page so I could feel freedom. You know what? I do that too. In posting. I do that too. Yeah. I, um, I have like my main account and then I have like a little spam account that my only like my family and my friends follow. And it's so freeing. Insta. How many friends have you hooked up with? How many friends have I hooked up with or mm -hmm. what percentage of my friends have I hooked how, up with? How many? Because I wouldn't be able to calculate percentage, so I'm not expecting you to. Well, how many have you hooked up with? Ooh. Friends as in have never ne never escalated into a relationship. Yes. One. Cool. Who is it? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Name no, we are not friends anymore. <gasps> yeah. What happened? I hooked up with her. Uh-huh. And then started dating her best friend right see gay people are terrible so there was an issue <laughs> first of all i was i was just starting to live my life in college right and so and i'm joking you can no, totally hook up with this girl and then her friend like i don't know <laughs> well yeah oops <laughs> that was my bad maybe just like four or three four or three or five three to five or something like that how many of them are you still friends with um pretty much all of them really yes and it's not weird no see that's, that's how you know you're really close right well <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if i could fully that's how agree we know we're best friends because <laughs> <laughs> we've seen each other naked yeah that's the thing i can't i can't like kiss someone and then not want to be in love with them kiss okay hook up with cool everyone's different <laughs> yeah and everyone's different is that like a, an old thing how Maybe old are you I'm 30. Right. Once you get to be 30, everyone just starts f***ing each other, and then it's, like, normal. Yeah. Good to know. Now it is time for our queer moment in history. If you don't know what that is, it's a pivotal moment in queer history that we've experienced. And today, it is Amy's Gay Awakening. Yeah. Um, hopefully I won't get canceled about this. Um, I'm just a little girl. I'm just a girl. <laughs> I'm just a 30 year old teenage girl. It was just like the only lesbian that I was seeing constantly when I was like 13 or whatever. Okay. But like definitely. And she's canceled now. Like we don't like her. Or she actually got canceled by the internet. Both. Ooh. But okay. So, and it's like kind of like kind of why vibes I okay. also kind of feel like yeah it's just because she was like there every day after school I'd watch Ellen <laughs> and then I was like I am mesmerized by this person and I don't know why but then everything kind of made sense okay at a point why is that bad she's so canceled you were like I want to get down and dirty with Ellen literally I've never heard anyone <laughs> say that in my life <laughs> No, I know. I know. It's a niche. Experience. I was like, oh my gosh, I thought like there was a guest no. on Ellen that you were like, what? No, it, it was, was Ellen. Like Ellen herself. Wow. I'm sorry. No, I mean I looked at Ellen more as like a as like a gender person. Right. I was like, Oh, I wanna dress like Ellen. Sure. Sure. No, I was like, that's my person. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen is my girl. That's wild. I know, I don't know. I don't know. You'll get canceled for that. Don't worry. No, I know. I don't. I don't know. really have words for that sort I, of situation. I'm, I don't know. I was so young. Times were weird. Everything was confusing. I didn't know what was happening. There was just one so, lesbian. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. That's and the thing. And there she was, and there I was. We were there together. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't really have anything. 
<laughs> Speechless. <laughs> no, I am. I was like waiting for it. I was like, who's it going to be? Ellen. It's wow. Ellen. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, Ellen. There's not like a talk so- show host that I was like. <gasps> I didn't have any like of the, cha- like I had five channels growing up. Like mm. I didn't have cable. So I was really watching like Ellen, The View, TMZ, <laughs> Dr. Phil. <laughs> that was mine. Yeah. Dr. Phil was my gay awake. Oh, really? Yeah. It was, it was the way. mustache. Right. Yeah. He's a doctor. Yeah, he's the doctor that I should be looking for instead of the guy right. on Tinder. Yeah. I thought that Dr. Phil wasn't really a doctor. Yeah, he's absolutely not. Dr. Phil's not a doctor? Mr. Phil. <laughs> Call him Phil. <laughs> Senor Philip. No, that's wild. Yeah, that's who, how Who gave him the TV show? That's the wildest thing I've heard all week. Yeah. Like, whenever they ask me <laughs> on, like a plane like getting a plane ticket they're like oh what's your prefix i'm like doctor and then my mom told me that i shouldn't be doing that you did that like twice because i thought it was funny oh my god so you and phil have so much in common with so much in common i always also put that i'm the first because technically right but you shouldn't be doing that don't do that This has been Closet Talk. Thank you so much for joining me here. I am your host, Maddie Westbrook. You can find me anywhere at Westbrook. And when I say anywhere, I mean everywhere but OnlyFans. This has been my guest, Amy. Hi. Where can we find you? What is so exciting that's coming up in your life that you think people should know about? I think that you guys, if you're 21 and up, please come to Futch at Futch Night on Instagram. It's the best. You're going to love it. And I'll see you there. (laughs) <laughs> where are you who are you i'll where be that can... footch no no where, who, who are what's your name what's oh my your... name is amy oddman i once was a youtuber remember me tiktok but come to footch <laughs> which is the only thing that matters yeah footch night all right thank you so much for being here and being at footch and for being queer i will see you next time on closet talk toodles